And good evening. Welcome to the Gary Brodsky Show with your host, Gary Brodsky. And I was thinking all week, should I actually cancel this show or keep it going? And I'll give you my reasons as the show progresses, but I've decided I am not going to cancel the show. And uh, David, uh, I don't know if you watch the show, but you just sent me a question. If you watch the show, I'll be happy to read it. So um, let me know, because it um, looks like a very good question. And if it was just sent to my email, well, then um, <laughs> Tom, how are you? Good evening. And thank you. Whoa. Starting off beautifully tonight. Hi, Gary. Have you seen all the fabricated news stories lately trying to destroy Trump? They are comparing his supporters to Nazis and protesters that are trying to shut down all his rallies. I've seen it. Believe me, I've seen it. It's getting completely out of hand, and no one is trying to stop these radicals who are protesting. Trump's biggest crime in the eyes of the media is being politically incorrect. Believe me, that's a big crime I've committed too, and I'm suffering as well. So I'm asking everybody's help to go buy something tonight just to help out. I've got some trying times over the next two weeks. I'll be honest. Okay? I'm back to this question. Being politically incorrect. I really hope Trump is elected president, and he kicks the ass out of all the politically correct losers. He should pick you as his vice president. Now that I agree with. That I agree with. Gary, can you imagine that ticket, Trump and Brodsky? You can't get more <laughs> kick-ass than that. I really love that. Thank you so much, Tom. I'll tell you what was really interesting. They're talking about all this protesting. And I said I wasn't going to get political tonight, but I say a lot of things to myself. Talking about all this protesting and all this craziness. Let's just think about it rationally, okay? Two punches were thrown in a crowd of, you know, you look at them all up, hundreds of thousands of people. Two punches were thrown. Nobody was seriously injured. Go to a rock concert or a rap concert. It's going to be a lot worse. When you get a large group of people together, except for Woodstock, which was, um, that's why it's a historical uh, piece, nobody got hurt. Outside of that, anytime you have a large group, you're going to have problems. But what is this horrible violence? A couple of punches thrown? Nobody really hurt, and they make you seem like, you know, people dying left and right. That is the curse of mainstream media. That was a Jimmy other night. There were more punches thrown over the over bullshit just because guys like to do it. Younger guys, I used to do that when I was younger. But I mean, that's what we become, and this is a great lead off because we have become a wimp society, a very wimp society. And, oh, good, a lot of views tonight. That's that's nice. Um, and I don't blame the wimps anymore. The deluge of programming from the media, from the uh, music industry now, which is only certain songs which are computer generated, to dumb down and emasculate men. The best phenol or BPA, read about it, Google it, YouTube it, that is in your food, that is chemically castrating you. I cannot believe the extent to which people are putting up with it. But then again, most people have been dumbed down and chemically castrated by food. And, you know, I drink soda. There is a way to fight it. And one of the ways to fight it, like anything else, is knowledge. And that's what Gary Rouse, that com is all about. And I've been getting a lot of heat about this site lately, which is why I need your support more than ever. If you want to ask what you can do to help, just, you know, Knock me out an email at GaryBrodsky123 at AOL.com. Even if this is on YouTube, I still answer most emails. Sometimes you have a crazy screen name, like, you know, we sell car insurance, and I just, like, delete that. Um, but it has really gotten bad, and I want to help out the guys who don't know, that they don't know the guys. It's really bad. Uh, you know, I've seen posts in schools. Uh, we encourage homosexuality. We, it's disgusting. It, it's against God, and you cannot go against God. Okay, his house, his rules. 
So uh, thank you so much for that lead off question because they've taken nothing and made it into something. And that's what mainstream media does. I trust any of the politicians, any of them, more than I trust the news, okay? As many of you know, I do not watch mainstream media. Why? I, I, I like fiction, but not to that extent. I mean, it's ridiculous fiction. I knew this when I was a kid, and I realized they don't even get the weather right. Like, they don't have a window. Um, and they have to go to school, actually, to become a meteorologist, to misinterpret the weather. And I was known years ago, they had kids predict the weather, and they had meteorologists predict the weather, and the kids did it better. So, yeah, I'm going to try to... Uh, okay, Dave, you are watching. Let's, let's get your questions in here. Yeah, I'm going to get heat to some of these questions. I have been getting unbelievable heat. Why? I am not politically correct, which means I am not a slave to somebody else's idea of how I should act, how I should be, how I should speak, what I should speak about. In a country that is predicated on freedom of speech. I'm glad you're watching, David. Many Democrats are in Pennsylvania and are watching a switch to Republicans just above Donald Trump. Can't stop the Trump. Emperor Trump. Now, it's no mystery that I'm pro-Trump because I've been getting phone calls day and night. Not very pleasant ones. I got that, that, that I can tell you, okay? I got to talk like him for a second. He's good. Um, but apparently having a point of view, which is my free speech right, but if it offends somebody else, it is no longer my right. And where they run to, the same attorneys that love to sue me. I should get an office in there just to you know, hang out with these guys, save them a trip. For speaking what? That men should date women? That men should be masculine? And may your first child be a masculine child. They're going to cut that too. Pretty soon you're going to have nothing you can watch anymore except these new feminized movies that are coming out. I've seen some of the new movies. i got to tell you something. It's an endurance contest. It is painful. And the whole idea is it's supposed to be painful and you're not supposed to know what the hell's going on. They want to destroy minds. They want to destroy people. But most of all, their target is the alpha male, and that's who I'm here to represent. So, um, yeah, a lot of people tonight. Thank you. Chris, good evening. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Chris, we need you here. It is sad how meteorologists can fuck up the weather forecast and still keep their job. I got some serious friends tonight, and I'll, I plan to raise some hell. All right, Chris, thank you. Hell you can say, you know, it's just like they give you a list on New Street. I'm, I'm amazed I'm still here. It's just, you know, the barrage gets too much. It gets to the point where I say, you know, is, is this worth it? Is this worth it? And I was thinking about, as I said earlier, canceling the show. No, I'm making this my last, you know, show and blowing all, all everything out. I said, no, I, I can't. I don't know why. I just, something in me will not quit. If that's a good thing. But then again, you know, I've been look, looking at some strange stuff. I look at some of the other dating sites. And they actually tell you, if you want women, this is my favorite. I'm not going to mention the sites because that's caused me problems in the past. If you want women, don't have big dreams and goals. And I was looking at the, some of the women that said, you know, if you want these women, you don't have big dreams and goals, Okay. Don't judge women by their looks. I'm sorry. That's how men work. You cannot change primal programming. Okay, got a question that's coming here on. All right, good. She's hiding, but she loves the Gary Brasky show, okay? Pretty girl. The girls love the show. Why? Because it's so rare that a guy speaks his mind or lights a cigarette or drinks a soda. And I always laugh about the soda thing. And my eating habits, you know, the drive through or whatever, you know. Chicken nuggets, chicken fingers. And people, wow, you're in good shape. Which is obvious. Um, 
But, and this is my bad thing, go to Whole Foods. Go, go to Whole Foods and look what's working around there, okay? Like that, right? Then go to a pizza place in Brooklyn. Hey, Lou, hey, Lou, come here, Frankie. They're in great shape. Why? It's not what you eat, it's what you think. I know there's a lot of crap in the food and stuff like that, and that's, you know, they're putting in the water, you don't even need medication to turn them to drink of water. But if you have a powerful alpha mindset, it breaks it down. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, the girls are enjoying this show. But anyway, I got an insight into women. I'm not going to talk about it on the show because it's going to cause me shit. But I'll have a webinar coming up this Friday. And if you want to be part of it, it is the biggest and the best webinar, which explains absolutely everything you ever want to know about women. Uh, sign up before Friday, which is a week from today, uh, March 13th. Well, almost a week, a little less, six days. Five. I don't know. It's uh, on this coming Friday. And uh, if you're not uh, on the list, sign up at GaryBrowski.com so you will be notified. It is that good. I have been spending months researching it. That was the easy part, right in the ad for it. Now, that's the hard part. I hired a professional ad company and I said, these guys write like shit. Okay, and if you guys are watching, you write like shit. They politically corrected everything I wrote. Yeah, and if you're watching, let me just tell you what they did. I had a sermon I wrote because I actually am a minister and I do sermons. And they took out the word God and they put in Yoda. It's more politically correct. Now, when you realize that the word God is offensive, and now the word men, woman, mother, father is offensive, you realize something is not right. But people don't tune in to hear what's not right. I mean, there's so much of that out there. People tune in on tips and ideas on getting women. And one of the things, this is why I'm talking about what I'm talking about now, about getting women is you got to be a rebel. And, you know, you know the story. It's always the guy who's the rebel, who stands for something that's going to get the women. You know, and all this other stuff. And guys agree because they think if you agree with the woman, it's going to get her attractive. It doesn't. It doesn't work. Let me just say the dumbest move, okay? The dumbest move for picking up. You want the great move? Go to GaryBrowski.com and get something. But you want the worst move? And this is the move that most guys try. It's natural. And they don't, they don't change. Is they figure if I'm nice to a woman, I'll get sex back in return. No, you won't, okay? No more debate, no more discussion. You won't. Go ahead and try it. And if it happens once by accident, you probably do something that you didn't realize you did. Okay, back to the show. As I said I don't have commercials. As I always said, if you want me to promote your product, just let me know. I'll promote your product, your website. Now that's cool. Okay. Um, well, you know, the views are popping in. That's great. And let's get some questions here. Okay, Tom Smith, keep your show going. I'm going to. I really just, you know, every day I'm going to get some, some lawyer calling me. You said this, you said that. And I said, yeah, sure. But uh, no, I can't let this go. Because I know once you catch in the flag, you're doing something right. If I was giving out shitty advice on how to get women, shitty advice on how to act like a man to get women, this show would be getting promoted. I'd be on mainstream television. It's a fact. But because what I teach and what's on GaryBots.com is effective, it's considered politically incorrect. Now, let me tell you something. Meeting a girl, having dinner, whatever, walking, holding her hands, having a good time, being confident, if that's politically incorrect, God knows where it's going to be in a very short time. Well, okay. Um, great question from Tom, I think. Yes, I didn't take this sticker off yet. It says two plus. I thought it was $2 when I got this. Okay. 
In response to what you said at the start of, of the show, please not cancel your show. Thank you so much. Gary, we desperately need people like you to inspire us and to present unfiltered intelligent opinions on things that everyone else is either brainwashed about or afraid to talk about candidly. I look forward to your show every week and listen to your to you and Trump has given me more self confidence in my own opinion option opinions with the way that the liberals and politically correct people are trying to control our speech and thoughts. We need people like you more than ever. Tom. Tom, thank you so much. You have no idea how much that means means to me. You have no idea. And for the sake of Tom, I will stay. I will be here next Sunday and the Sunday after. This David, you may be actually not, you think you're being funny, but this is probably going to be happening in the next couple of months. Next thing you know, Microsoft will be including a political correctness checker in the next version of Microsoft Word. That is, uh, you may have said that's a joke. But it's not a joke. It is going to happen. And I am for anybody who is against political correctness. Political correctness is tyranny. Straight out. And uh, Chris got a great one here. Ghostbusters. I I'm glad I brought this up. So, and Chris, thank you for bringing it up. Ghostbusters. The original Ghostbusters movies was a classic. Of course, Hollywood decided to make, to remake the movie. Only this time they took the sum of strong male leads and replaced them, all of them with females. I know about that. I don't know about you or anybody else, but this pisses me off. I infer that they want us to think men shouldn't lead anymore. Fucking feminazis and the fucking liberal apologist courts not close, excuse me, the C word. I can't say it anymore. Prefer ruining a classic movie. No, it's not just that movie. They're going to ruin everything. And not that they're not ruining movies. They're ruining people. They are ruining people. People see this politically correct stuff and they assume that's the way life is. And I mean, everybody knows this. You watch television. I don't watch television. Occasionally I do just to see how bad it got. And it's like, God, can this get any worse? It does. They always show a guy, it's very easy commercials, especially, that, boy, am I glad I married my wife because otherwise I'm an incapable moron of doing anything. That is the message. Now, young guys hear this message over and over and over again, and they assume it's true. You become what you watch on TV. I remember when I was younger and Maddox first came out, he always had that, you know, overhand right. Everybody in school was cracking the crap out of each other. Back then, it was okay. It was laughable. And teachers say, if you want to fight, put on the gloves, let's go to the gym. Now, the world has changed for young people. And in a very, very horrible, emasculating way. Okay, uh, questions I can't really read. But... Uh, it's just getting to be what we have, a wimp culture. You know the voice, okay? I'm not going to have to, I may have to do it, but can I talk like this? Yeah, well, you know, if you think, always so, I mean, there's no word for it. It's disgusting. It's feminized, and I don't blame the guys. I can help those guys. But all they talk about is iPhone apps. You know, somebody showed me what you do with an iPhone. I didn't even know you could do that stuff. This was the only the only phone you can get because it's, you know, just a little too big for your pocket, and it just, you know, it sucks. But, um, yeah, there was life before iPhones, for those of you who did not know that. Somebody had posted this up uh, on Facebook. I go there because uh, I need to, you know, I guess some customers there. And I said, would you live... Um, in this, this is a nice cabin without your iPhone for ten thousand dollars. I say, who did I make the check out to? No, it was the other way around. But so this has become everybody's dating advice: texting. 
That's the that's the new dating world, the world of dating. It's not with a woman. Most guys can't handle a woman. Playboy had to take down naked pictures of intimidated women. And uh, you can read about that. And this is everybody's uh, romantic life now. I got a text. It's, it's really sad. I'm telling you, the Super Webinar is coming up this Friday. Please sign up. It is well worth the price of admission. Missing, uh, you know, some stupid basketball game or something. It is going to be killer. I have to wait for this thing to reset. This is a fucking iPhone. Ah, it's got it updated. Dr. Alpha, politics. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? All right. I am hoping that Trump gets elected. I am sick of that political correct bullshit. I've got to run, have, I have a hot blonde upstairs in my bedroom waiting for me. Dr. Alpha. Well, thank you for popping in for that second. I appreciate it. The show I swore I wouldn't talk politics about. And it's just amazing how people are taking this thing, couples breaking up over politics. Because everybody wants to be politically correct. It's just sad. Again, I can save money like auto insurance. Okay, I gotta take a cigarette here. I was going to do some funny stories tonight, but I'm just, again, not in a funny mood. I'm going to have to warm up to be in a funny mood next week. I, next week, remind me, you promised to be funny. I had a whole bunch of pale head stories, uh, you know, sex stories, which guys don't even talk about anymore. So, hey, look at that girl. <laughs> you know, it's just really amazing how you get guys to react and dance for being politically incorrect. Smoke in the eyes, huh? I guess that happens. I'll tell you the saddest part of all that's been happening in my life for the last month that I've been complaining about it. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to complain about it, I'm just trying to, trying to explain what's happening. It's about the economy. And I'm not going to blame the Rolls Royce. No, because that's not happening in my life. Yeah, I know they're out there. I know the banks are out there and all the Wall Street stuff. I know all about that. That's not hurting my business. I have a lot of partnerships going on with guys. I know that some guys I didn't get back to because it's been a crazy week. But guys have had long lasting relationships with, working back and forth, help me write ads. All of a sudden, I can't help you anymore. I can't, I can't accept your money anymore. Why? Well, you see, my girlfriend does not like your website. That's what you call a guy with balls. I guarantee you, and I know it, I've seen it, one of them, I won't mention his name, his girlfriend, I mean, there's it's, it's like three of them, has control of his house, control of his finances, control of who he can and cannot talk to. That, to me, is the biggest disgrace, because that's just happening to me. It's happening to so many people. You know, I get phone calls from cars, and they go like this. They're in the car, but I, I, can, I can feel it, right? They go like this. They carry them in my car. They got about five minutes. What's happening? So this is how you're going to do business? Out of trips to the drugstore? I can't deal with you. Yeah, but we got a lot of good plans. I got to run this year. Yeah, I'll do business in five-minute increments over the next 300 years. Okay, get some questions in here. Yes, I'll just be explaining why. Breakups hurt men more than women. And there's a reason. A reason that has never been disclosed before. Please let me know 
Send me an email if you don't want to join my mail list. Gary Brodsky, 123 If you want to be on the best webinar, the most researched, 3,000 years worth of documents I went through. And I have it all written up. It's not coming off the top of my head. It is going to be one hell of a great webinar. It will change your entire life when it comes to dealing with women. Literally. I can't give any way of it away here because somebody will find a way to stop it. It's that good. They only stop things that work or have any power or punch to it. Okay, social media. Huh, one of my favorite things. That and root canal, okay? Two things I need to come to, to grips on. Everybody should go post whatever the fuck they want on social media. Fuck all the whiners who don't like what I post. Fuck all the bleeding heart apologists, idiots who are offended by what anyone posts. True power is not giving a fuck what people have to think or say of you and having people around you, knowing that they can't tell you shit. Liberals preach tolerance, but they're intolerant to those who disagree. That is so true. So that's not really preaching tolerance. Just tolerance of them. And I believe liberalism, and this is my belief, is demonic possession or unclean spirits. And I'll tell you why I believe that. Because you can have a point of view, could be crazy, whatever. I say, well, let me know, let's discuss this. And, well, I think this, this, this. I want to wait a second. No, but, but if you look at this, that's a normal conversation. That's going by the wayside, by the way. Normal conversation just ain't happening anymore. Go to a liberal. This is why I believe they are possessed by spirits. And go, you know, I'm not sure you're right about that because it, no, no, I'm right there. And a complete fit. Like something is really possessing them. And I believe that then. And I believe that now. That is fine. I'm going to take any other questions. Gary Brodsky, 123 at AOL.com. Presumably AOL.ejaculate because we want to be politically correct. Okay, I'm losing it. It happens. Just a personal story of where I've been last week. I went to a doctor over something and he was saying, well, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to shut this up your ass. You heard the story last week. So it's like, you know, I'm not going to God. It worked. Okay? 24 hours a day, don't need insurance, seven days a week, and God makes house calls. Oh, believing in God has gotten me in more trouble than you can imagine. I remember once in school, I was like in fifth grade, they said, I don't believe in God, just to be funny. And I got the shit beat out of me, which is not right. Because I think everybody has a right to an opinion. But I was only joking, and everybody of it. You know, this was like a, a multiple beat. So I told me, you know, some of you guys are right, which they were, but not not for kicking my ass, but for having a, at least this thing. You know, you don't talk about God like that. And I was just playing with them because I, I was just testing out to see the reaction. Now it's the opposite. See, things don't change; they change you. They have changed men from men into something that doesn't even have a word yet. And a lot of these women out there, I wouldn't waste my time with. I would not waste my time. I can tell you a funny story about that, so we can get to a funny story here. Got a question from Dave. So why do breakups affect men more than women? As I said, David, I can't really tell you on the show. But it does affect men more than women. I'm going to give you a hint. And this is just a small tip of the iceberg. I know here comes the shit for this one, but you want the question answered, I'm going to answer it. Men can love. Women believe they can, but they are incapable of it. Now, I'm not saying that women do not have affection or things like that. But the same type of love that a guy has, a woman does not have back for them. And that's going to be explained in detail. And believe me, once you know this trick, if you think anybody out there has ever had a million girlfriends, you have to do this. I got this from him years ago. Uh, 
Charles Manson knew this. Anyone who ever had tons and tons of women, the good, the bad, the ugly, knew what I'm going to be talking about this Friday night. So men have a different type of emotional investment. That's the biggest secret missing. And I do have, you know, a little bit of injecting all my audio. So I don't think, you know, those are, those are worth a lot. They're worth more than people think because it's, I keep getting emails that changed my life. And now I get, you get all the women. But the main key ingredient, the driver behind all male and female interaction. And if it's the driver, you want to be in the driver's seat, okay? Be there Friday night. But it has always affected men more than women. Men are more emotional. Women act more emotional. And I'm going to talk about that too. Ah, oh, one left. That's okay. I have 18 packs stacked up here. People say to me, are you prepared for society to break down? Yeah, I got a couple of cards to see that's the rest I'll deal with. So yeah, breakups affect men more, but if you know the stuff that I'm going to be teaching on Friday night, no one will ever, ever break up with you again. That's just the way it is. This stuff comes from not only you Hefner, comes from Napoleon, um, and it comes, a lot of it comes from the Bible. The stuff you can't and you will never hear preached in any house of worship anymore. All right, let's get a few more questions in here. Gary Brodsky, one, two, three, to AOL.com. And I'll smoke another cigarette. With my favorite horse lighter. People always say to me, you know, if you didn't smoke, you know how much you'd be a millionaire by now? Multi-millionaire if you didn't smoke. I said, you don't smoke, right? Are you a multi-millionaire? But what's funny is people who couldn't give a damn about my life will criticize my smoking. That's amazing. Because years ago, you know, just think of how we changed. Years ago, James Bond was smoking. Johnny Carson was smoking. It wasn't going, oh, look at him. Now they have you programmed to follow their agenda. And they are somewhere else smoking cigarettes and laughing. There's a battle. Well, I'm up for war. Either you win or lose, but you got a much better chance by fighting than by submitting. Submission is surrender. I wouldn't know how to be politically correct if I had teachers, okay? And it's just uh, really destroying men. The more alpha you are, just simple, the more women you are going to get the more opportunities you're going to get. And yeah, I have a, a great audio out there, um, how to be feared and respected. When people fear you just a little bit, they're going to respect you a lot more. When people have no fear of you, they will walk all over you. You should have learned this in grade school. Here we go. Save money, pay less on car insurance. You know something? No, I'm not going to have my car insurance to praise right now. What was I thinking? But anyway, we have to change not only ourselves, and it's a constant battle, I know. I mean, I got hit with the correct bullshit all week. Phone calls, emails, faxes, carrier pigeons landed out there. You shouldn't be saying this, you shouldn't be saying that. In a country of free speech, I should not be saying this. Um, Google will not uh, so promote this website because Google won't. Why? Because I have pieces of women who are pretty. You have to mix in women that are all types. And now they're promoting fat as being normal. No, it's just not.
Yeah, they did overweight women, but they weren't fat because they didn't have this fat and you better let They were just overweight, but they were women. As I always said, there's also things an ugly woman. Lazy women? Yeah. Ugly? No. When they're like, I'm fat, and you better tolerate, you better like it. You know, I wasn't even thinking about your weight until you brought it up, but now, with your attitude, that's what I don't like. God bless our veterans. Like I said before, and I'll say it again, I am appalled at how shitty our veterans are treated. Well, thank you for saying that. On the bright side, I have come across businesses that offer a 10% active duty or veteran discount. I support these guys any day of the week. I also came across a letter on Facebook from a Harley Davidson dealership offering the store active duty soldiers bikes free. That kicks ass. I'll tell you something. Absolutely, I heard about that. That does kick ass. But we live in a society, and I'm totally glad you wrote this, that doesn't appreciate jack shit. I don't know what jack shit is, but they don't appreciate it. We have the most spoiled, you know, I should start doing some audios. How to meet women being a spoiled kid, a whiner, a complainer, a crier, a crybaby who's looking for safe space. Hey, Dan, what's up? Now the show's going to really get crazy. All of them. Courtesy of the horse. All right, Dan, let's get some good questions in here. Now Dan's a guy I happen to know him personally. I'm surprised he's not getting laid tonight. But he lives a life of getting laid and being alpha. And being alpha has had its great advantages. He's got women. He's got women calling him. He's got beautiful women from all over the world. But yet, he also does modeling. And they tell him, well, we can't use your voice because it's too masculine. So any, anything on that, Dan, you want to put in here, I'll be happy to talk about it. Being masculine has now become a crime. And not being masculine is a crime against God. So who do you serve, okay? All right, I'm going to have some more salt. There's something that doesn't empty out. So something he's refilling it, which is great. So excuse me, I'll take a quick soda break, get some questions in. We're having fun here tonight, right? Oh. He's back in business. Is then again. Speaking of fat women, do you still get the same testosterone spike during time with fat women if you don't desire them but still make them laugh? Yes. Women are women. And I have nothing against fat women except when they believe that they, their entire identity is their weight. I'll try to explain. Try. When you meet a woman, and I, I've gone out with some women that are like way overweight in my life. I was just we're glad I didn't take any pictures back then, but I have. And uh, they were great women. But their, their whole goal was being women and being sexy, not like, I'm fat, what do you have to say? You know, like that whole attitude. You know, look at her laugh. She's fat and five minutes of talking, she was beautiful. Because she was feminine. And that's another thing that's going down the tubes. Masculinity and femininity are gone. As I said, pretty soon you can't say he, she, mother, father, and a whole list of words. Pretty soon the show's going to be a pantomime. Because you can't say certain things. Unless we stand up and all say it. Uh, things going off tonight, there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Here he goes, Dan. Is it really a cardinal sin against God to bang married women? Some of them are just too hot and nice and cute. I think that was forgiven. I don't think you'll burn in hell. I am, in fact, I'm sure of it. Adultery is actually, if you think about adultery in the Bible, 
this is a biblical point of view. Everybody in the Bible had multiple wives and concubines. So the guys who said adultery was bad, you know, had four wives and 19 concubines. I think the uh, whole idea is, again, the mainstream church right now is not what the church used to be. It is not what the church used to be. You have lesbian preachers. I mean, it's just, you know, I don't want to get into the whole thing about that. It's just not, they don't preach anymore. Nothing. Except political correctness, which I've heard enough of. All right, here we go. One, one of Caitlyn Jenner. If we can't say he, she, mother, father, and so on, at least liberals shouldn't have a problem with me calling Caitlyn Jenner it. What's really funny about Caitlyn Jenner is she came out pro-Trump, and now everybody lost it for her, all her followers, his followers, whatever. But what really bothers me, if you want to talk about the whole transgender thing, you know, I know what's screwed up in their mind. I'm not going to judge them. But I'm going to judge a society that in New York, every bathroom is now transgender. That's like a, a pervert's dream. And that's accepted now. That's accepted. But being masculine, that is not accepted? Explain that shit. I'll explain it. We are living in a world controlled by a satanic agenda. And it's quite obvious in the Sodom and Gomorrah style life that they are promoting. And Balfament and all this other stuff, what is that? It's a genderless society. This was planned years and years ago. If we submit, we're done. And don't forget, anybody watching this, go to GaryBrassy.com as soon as possible, because I need you guys as soon as possible. All right, let's get some cool questions. The show's actually coming to an end. Went pretty fast. No idea what to call the show tonight, because I didn't really pick a topic and stay with it, which I, I seldom ever do. But let's see, um, I can't think of the title of tonight's show. Apparently no one, no one, no one else. Wait, there's one question hanging here. Okay, wrapping it up. One more question, let's go. Well, I enjoy my soda, cigarettes. What we are seeing now is the mass wimpification of America. And what's great about saying that is I don't need to show you proof. All you got to do is walk outside. And you'll see it. You'll see it. You'll see it everywhere. You'll see it in the misery of guys' faces and the stupid look on their face. And more, you'll see it in the misery of women's faces. Good question coming up. We gotta light a cigarette. The cool way. I just gotta recommend the audio to everybody. It's got so much stuff on there. It's got a silly title, but it has so much powerful stuff. How to be cool. The difference between KJV and KJV. Standard. Dan, I gotta do this for you. Gotta put these on.
I've done some research, and the King James Version of the Bible has supposedly been bastardized with the standard version as opposed to 16 or 111. This is true or really not a big deal. By the way, you're right about the bathrooms. All the clubs I work at now mix bathrooms and men and women use it together. That's not cool at all. The fact that we put up with it is not cool at all. The fact that nobody's going crazy. I mean, it's insane. It, and it's all over New York. Now, it is totally legal for a man to walk into a woman's bathroom and a woman to walk into a man's bathroom. Why? Why? Because it's following a satanic agenda. One question I can't answer because I'm mentioning a brand name. Can't do that anymore. Yes, women are miserable more than ever. It's sad. It's sad, but it is a cue now for every guy to go out there as an alpha and get as many women as possible and say, fuck you to the world. It's just the way it is right now. Because if you're alpha, you'll have more women. You know what to do with it. And if you can make that webinar on Friday night, do it. I have canceled plans for that. There is going to be a super webinar coming up Friday. If you're hearing this transmission and you don't, and you're not part of the mailing list, sign up now at GaryBrowski.com. If you're seeing this on YouTube, you can still sign up because it's not live. You know what's sad? You know, all this is trans. Really, it's 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 a, it's a battle. It's a war. A war we are going to win. Is you can't even teach the classics anymore. If I said to you, "Hey Dan, Hey Chris, Hey David, Hey Tom," guess what? You have the rights to all the classics. David Copperfield, Moby Dick, which by the way is not a disease, and uh, people are just so ignorant. Uh, Romeo and Juliet, the Shakespeare, I'll throw them in too. You got all the rights. It's all yours. All printed up, nicely leather bound, stacked. Here are some audio books to go along with that. You wouldn't sell shit today. We have such a dumbed down society. Next Olympic event, tying your shoelaces. Being dumb is not a turn on. Not only to women, but to anybody, even to yourself. Because you think by terms of what you know. And a leader is a reader, and that has been the staple for years. I can take two guys off the street. I don't know them. To grab the first two I see. Throw them in a room. Give a guy a stack of books. They don't get out of this room until they read the books. Give the other guy TV. So you watch TV all, all day and night. And I guarantee you, in a year or two, the guy who read the books will be a big success. The guy who watched TV, another horse, okay? Actually, the horse is quite successful. I just make fun of him because he watched the show. And I, you, you got it. You know, um, but it's absolutely a fact. A leader is a reader. Whether they're good, bad, indifferent. And I'll tell you something else. Being crazy helps. How? Does being crazy help? You may ask. And I'm glad you did. You say you're in a bus, 40 people in the bus, right? And some guy gets up there and goes, I'll tell you something right now. I'm going to tell you. The whole bus is not going to do shit. So they're like this. A crazy person can take over a store. And unfortunately, crazy people take over governments. But crazy works. Crazy will scare the fuck out of people. That's something I learned very young. Me and my brother used to go to bad neighborhoods. And we used to try to walk around acting tough. Get the crap knocked out of us. He had an idea, why don't we walk around like I'm crazy and you're just following me. And watch people scatter. I said, okay. He was walking around going, I guess, I going to kill everybody. People were hitting the decks, running into the house, running up the snoots. The toughest guys were jumping the cover. Knowing how to apply craziness will be covered on the webinar. Because being crazy can
captivates an audience. I know what you're thinking. Why don't I be crazy for the rest of the show, huh? War. <laughs> what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. It's war. I'm curious. If you ask a woman for money, the alpha way, is it all right to say, can you lend me with the word lend, or is it that word weak? Women tend to be more generous with money than men. I have found this out. Men have excuses, and as I was saying, there is a very big difference to wiring between men and women. They don't want to know that. And that's all that's going to be covered on the webinar coming up this Friday, the super webinar. Uh, why women and men are they're, they're different. They don't want to know that. People have forgotten that men and women are totally different. Their brain is different. Their body is different. The way they think is different. The way they act is different. And people have forgotten how to bridge that gap. Women's greatest trait, and this is going to be mentioned on the, on the webinar, is, as I said, they, they don't love the same way men do. That's why they can take, break up with you, they can give you shit, they don't even think about it, and the guy's suffering. But what's women's greatest trait? Anybody? I'll take a guess on this one, because I know what it is. I'm talking about, I did 3,000 years worth of research. I didn't take 3,000 years, but I went into 3,000 years of re research what women's most powerful trait is, and how to deal with it. Oh, how to deal with it, you'd have to go to webinar. I'm just gonna see if anybody knows what their greatest trait is. Hey now, hey now, I'm all around you now, hey now. No, they like the tunes, that's true. But uh, women's greatest trait is loyalty. Way more than men. But it is manifested in such a sick way, think about this that women will leave their husbands to go work for a boss for minimum wage and be loyal to him. They must give their loyalty to somebody. And if you don't know what you're doing, it's not going to be you. Make sure you're at that webinar. I would say to sign up right now, but it's not posted yet, so you can't. But if you want to be notified again, and if you're not on the mailing list, sign up now at GaryBrice.com. Plus, you get a free audio and ebook. I mean, happy to beat that. And, oh, I forgot my guarantee. How can I forget my guarantee? If, for any reason whatsoever, in any way, manner, form, or shape, any of my audios don't get you laid, parlayed, relayed, six ways to Sunday, you can have your money back at any time in your life, plus the knife to cut it off with. Yeah. Last time I did this, I had this sticking out of my foot and I had to do the whole show like that. So all these mysteries will be uncovered this Friday night. And if you miss it, hopefully I'll be able to record it. That's just a hope. Okay, I'm going to have a last cigarette, you guys. So I'm having fun. Hey, Dan, how's the working out going? And one thing I will say about working out is I have a drawer full of products they send me all the time. Uh, free, you know, because it costs the shipping. Uh, this has to it will kill a muscle in six weeks. DHA is the only thing I found that works. I ain't exactly as young as you might think I look. But DHA does work. And anybody I know who's tried, I know a few guys have, who work out, it is the only thing that will build muscle that I have found. And I have tried everybody else's products. I've tried creatine. I had a stomach out to here. Uh, my kidneys were failing. That's just me. I've seen other people with this, that, that. No. DHEA at GaryBrosky.com. Drop down menu supplements. I am the only one now left who carries the real DHEA. And if you want muscles and you want more testosterone, that's one way to go. I know Dan liked this audio. Be more of a man. Because you can build up testosterone, which you goddamn fucking need to live. Just by sitting there. Few things you can do. I'll give you a pointer right now. Okay, I'm going over time here. Be conscious of one thing. 
See your head? You got one, right? Don't ever let it go down past horizontal. Like that. Because that starts developing a loser mindset. I got some great incantations, invocations coming up. But if you keep your head up, look at the difference. Now, when I speak to you like this, right, my head is up. Well, anyway, my head is down. I have to look down to read the uh, iPhone thing. Otherwise, I'm going to look like this. But it's just, the more you keep your head up, the more you are going to be respected, and the more you're going to build testosterone. That's just one of a thousand things on that audio. Okay, there's something I'm working out. Very well, my man. Need your help with deciding to get straight aid and cut. Rather than big size is fine. I give okay. Yes, you may. And I would appreciate it. Um yeah. But guys don't want muscles anymore. What do they want? iPhone apps. Then ain't gonna do it. You're gonna you know, it's like if you ask me what I do do throughout my teenage years. I laid every girl in sight. Okay, that's what I did. That was my teenage years. I let every girl in sight, and I did entrepreneurial ventures. So I was dying right now. I go, wow, you know, I have so many good memories to go back to. What is the average guy today going to go back to? Well, I had this app on my iPhone. I was able to play Kill the Bird, whatever the hell they play. I don't know how these things work. It's going to stop because we're going to reach everybody. Yes, <laughs> we're going to make men great again. Everybody, thank you for being here. Uh, until the cigarette's gone. So if you want another shooting a question, you can do it right now. Hmm? I'm here. Talking to me. I'm right here. You want to send me a message? I'm right here. Yeah, I do this at the bank. Every time I go in there, there's some guy who's the same guy every time in front of me. And every time I look around, I'm looking at him like Rob Nero. You're next in line. You're going next. The teller wants to talk to you. He's not talking to me, he's talking to you. It drives him crazy. Just my way of having fun. Anyway, thank you all for being here. So I'll just go on all night and have a lot of people to call tonight. And uh, thanks for all the questions. I will be back here next Sunday night. Pilgrim. Okay, don't forget, GaryBrass.com, go there now. So you got to deal with this. Some of this. All right. Thanks for putting me in a good mood. All right, the Gregorian chant. The real healing music. If you want to know where to get it, YouTube. Tons of it. It's funny because uh, I accidentally hit Greg Allman. It was good too. I love Greg Allman, by the way. Okay. See you all next week. Blessings to all of you. Peace, prosperity, joy, tons of fun. That's what life is about, right? Happy, happy, happiness, and a blessing on all your houses. And good night.